This week, I'm going to be taking a real in-depth and detailed look into the new Bayer Dynamic headphones, the DT700 Pro Xs. Thank you for coming back. If you've already subscribed, great. And if you haven't, you know what to do. Don't forget, drop me a like. It really helps me and the channel out. And while you're there, turn on all notifications so you don't miss another video. Now, this video isn't aimed at the consumer level. Bayer Dynamic headphones, by their definition almost, are standard studio issue headphones. So if you are a studio engineer, or if you are a content creator or a podcaster, this video is aimed at you. And if you've already got the 770 Pros, we're going to be taking a look to see if it's going to be worth you changing up to these brand new 700 Pro Xs. I've been using them now for the last few weeks. And in this video, I'm going to be letting you know what my conclusions are of them as daily drivers for headphones in the studio. So I mentioned about the price there being a small difference. There is, there is. The 80 ohm edition of the DT770s, you can currently get online for around about £125. And the new 700 Pro Xs that I've just got for the studio here cost me £215. So yes, there is a price implication. We'll be covering whether it's worth it to later on in the video. But don't forget, as I record this, it's just before Black Friday. So you might find that there are some great deals to be had. And in fact, at the moment on Bayer Dynamics' own website, there are mentions of Black Friday deals. But obviously, that's irrelevant when you watch this video. But do look to see if you can get yourself any deals around just at the moment on release of this video. When you look at the two boxes, you'll notice that the brand new box for the 700 Pro Xs is 100% recycled, which is filling with Bayer Dynamics environmental statement. And then inside the box, well, you get the normal literature that none of us ever look at. But most importantly, you now get two of the detachable cables. And uh, that's, it was a small point, but on the 770s, the cable was so long, it was three meters. I often found it getting caught under the studio chair or under my feet. So the fact that you can swap it out now for the shorter 1.8 meter cable is a real benefit. And uh, the cables come with a 3.5 millimeter gold-plated jack at one end. And at the other end, it's a mini XLR. When I was uh, starting out on this video, I made a note to myself to make a mention of anything I didn't like. But to be honest with you, and I'd only give you my honest opinion, really, there's nothing I don't like about these headphones. And the moment you pick them up out of the box for the very first time, you can feel you've got quality. They somehow feel just slightly better engineered than the DT770s, as if they're going to last even longer. The comfort and fit is second to none. The sound isolation is even better than the DT770s. As you know, I've got closed back headphones in both instances for the kind of work I do. And the sound isolation is amazing. They're the kind of headphone that you can totally imagine yourself wearing day after day and just being immersed in your workflow. They are that good. I didn't imagine when these turned up, and I only bought them, to be honest, to do a video on for you guys here on the channel. I was really happy with my DT770s. That's why I've got three pairs. That's why I haven't mixed in anything other than bad dynamic headphones for the last uh, four, five, six years. They are that good. But now, having bought these headphones for the channel, I can tell you that I'm going to switch out. Absolutely, I'm going to be using these 700 Pro Xs day in and day out. They are that good. It's the comfort that is amazing. I never thought that the DT770s were an uncomfortable headphone. And I'm not saying that they are. But these 700s, somehow, the way they fit around your ear, the isolation they give you, the focus they give on the audio, and the lovely flat balance reference deliver they give, they have just knocked the ball out of the park. It's another level. So if you find yourself wearing headphones day after day for many hours of the day, and you're currently using the DT770s, honestly, go and treat yourself. Buy these 700 Pro Xs. Yes, there is a small increase in price. They are approaching double the price. But trust me, if you find yourself wearing headphones hours at a time, day after day, you will be rewarded with the comfort and isolation that these new 700 Pro Xs give you. The stellar 0.45 audio drivers in these 700 Pros offer amazing class lead performance due to the neodynamic ring magnet together with the copper clad high technology wire. They also have a unique three layer speaker diaphragm with an integrated dampening layer leading to a very compliant user experience. In turn, this means you have a wide range of playback options across numerous devices, including Apple Silicon, MacBooks, and even iPhones too. Looking first at the older 770 Pros, my headphone of choice for many a year now. Well, these headphones offer a clean bass, but do suffer ever so slightly in the sub bass. The low mids are scooped out just a touch, but they do have a great high end. The 80 ohm version are more forgiving in the highs and have an easier sound to the bass than their bigger brother, the 250 ohm version. 
These new 770s have a frequency response all the way from 5 hertz all the way up to 40,000 hertz with a high notable passive isolation. They're around about 50 grams heavier than the 770s, weighing in at approximately 350 grams. You'll notice right away that they're much louder due to that new stellar driver, and that means they'll work more compliantly across more tasks and devices. They have a similar bass response I've found to the 770s, but much more sub bass with, I found, a cleaner and warmer user experience. They're more comfortable for a wider range of tasks with a great sound separation too. The bass is quite tonal and technical with a very clear and level response, not designed for a casual listen, but a great pair, a really great pair of studio headphones. And if you're wondering why I chose the closeback option, it's because the majority of my work in these will be live radio, recording interviews and podcasts, and clearly what I want to avoid is any bleed. They have detachable, well, <laughs> pretty much everything in keeping with the uh, Bayer Dynamic Comprehensive Environmental Statement. The build quality is second to none. Made in Hellbronn in Germany, they have a still headband with a soft memory foam. They're highly sustainable now with all parts replaceable, such as the ear cups, the headbands I just mentioned, and more importantly, the cables. Speaking to some engineers over the years, I know the cables on the 770s did pose a problem, but now with these being detachable on the new 700 Pro Xs, well, they're pretty much future-proofed. Somehow the build quality feels even better on these 700s than it did on the 770s. And let's face it, they weren't exactly shabby, were they? I don't know why, but they just feel superior. The ear pads are a real standout feature for me. They're, they're so soft, they fit all around the ear perfectly and truly do isolate you. As mentioned, these ear cups and the headband are easy to replace and of course the cables that I just spoke about. They still have a metal yoke with a sleek, robust design and these are clearly designed for everyday use for many, many hours at a time. So, is it worth changing? Well, that all depends on the amount that you use headphones. Look, if you've got a pair of DT770s and you're happy with them, and you only tend to wear them once or twice a week, maybe for only half an hour, 40 minutes at a time, then probably, probably swapping out for the new 700 Pro Xs isn't necessary. It's a lovely luxury, but isn't necessary. But I can honestly tell you from the moment that you touch these new headphones, there's an air of quality about them. Somehow Bay have just made them feel even better engineered. They are slightly heavier, as I mentioned earlier in the video, but it's not just the weight, it's the whole engineering of fit of these headphones, the way the cups fit around your ear and isolate you. The, the comfort and fit of these, honestly, is something really special that you can only experience when you first put them on. Yes, there is a difference in price. They are approaching double the price of the DT770s, but that's if you're looking to buy headphones if you haven't got any. I'm talking here about if you've already got the 770s, is it worth swapping up? In honesty, if you're going to be wearing them for hours at a time, day after day, then yes, 100% yes, the style fit comfort is worth it in itself. The bad dynamic delivery of a flat reference headphone, we all know how good that is, but they have just taken it to another level with this fit and comfort. That's what I can't get over. They are that good. So if you're thinking, is it worth me changing? I can honestly say if you find yourself wearing headphones day after day and you're mixing, engineering, podcasting or are a content creator, then absolutely these headphones are worth adding to your studio. And if you've enjoyed this video, you might enjoy a video that I put up recently about sidechain compression in Adobe Audition. There'll be a link to that coming up ever so soon. Don't forget, do make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop me a like and turn on all notifications so you don't miss another video. And I'll see you on the next one.